Prime 2.0 say it ain't so? Well, maybe. Let's take a look. First, we need to look at some recent comments made by a very powerful man. That man is Mel Watt. Now, who the heck is Mel Watt and why should you care? Well, he's the director of FHFA. Now, what is that? That is the Federal Housing Finance Agency. Now, why are they important? Well, they regulate Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, and we all know who they are, right? Oh God, thank God, because that would be a really long show if not. Anyways, Watt had his first major speech last month. Now remember, this guy is the director of FHFA who regulates Fannie and Freddie, so what he says pretty much goes. Kind of. Watt essentially called for more lenient guidelines when it comes to making new loans. As you know, lenders have been extremely gun-shy to make said loans due to massive regulation, red tape, and buybacks. They're calling Watt's strategy a get-out-of-buybacks-free card. Get it? Because it sounds like get-out-of-jail-free, but it's different? Anyways, Watt is quoted as saying, Lenders believe that too much uncertainty still exists for them to ease their credit overlays. He also said, ultimately, this undermines the goal of improving access to mortgage credit for creditworthy borrowers. Now, the overall goal here is to embolden lenders to remove so-called credit overlays. Now, overlays are kind of like additional layers of risk that individual lenders add to their guidelines to ensure quality loan originating. For example, you ever wonder why some lenders say do an FHA loan with 580 credit scores and some others will only go down to 640? That's an overlay. That's an overlay the lender has instituted themselves. Or when lenders want a certain amount of reserves or say won't lend on manufactured homes. Those two are overlays. Well, Watt and the FHFA want those removed. They want easier access to mortgages for credit and cash strapped home buyers. Watt's comments are echoed by Mark Zandi, chief economist for Moody's Analytics. Now he says, we're counting on it because the housing recovery is so vital to the economy. Zandi, who is leading the charge for looser credit, has long claimed that the pendulum has swung way too far, and he says easing up on mortgage buybacks and urging lenders to eliminate credit overlays will go a long way towards normalizing the market. He also says there's a lot of credit-worthy borrowers who cannot get credit, and so it's very reasonable to ease underwriting standards, mostly by lowering FICO scores. He fears if housing doesn't pick up, then we'll be stuck in a slow growth economy. Okay, I get their point, but I can't help find the irony in the situation. Anybody else see it? I mean, really, the government goes to all this trouble to implement new stricter, tighter, almost absurd underwriting guidelines and procedures. They just get done implementing QM and the ability to repay rule and Dodd-Frank, only to go back right after the stuff passes and essentially say, hey guys, uh, we know we just passed an insane amount of rules for you to follow, and we know the entire economic downturn was pinned on your entire industry. Feel bad about that one. And we know that we've really been hitting you hard for making bad loans, and we forced you all to buy those back just because you didn't dot your I, but now we want you to abide by all those rules that we just gave you, but loosen up just a little bit. That's like saying, go punch that guy in the face, but don't hit him. What? Anyone else get the irony here? I mean, really, anybody? Bueller? 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 Okay, now Ed Pinto from the American Enterprise Institute and longtime critic of the government intervention in the housing market called these changes the FHFHA announced last week the official launch of Subprime 2.0. He says, without lender overlays, the FHA's minimum requirements of 3.5% down and 43% debt to income ratio and no credit score are a recipe for what? Default. He also made an interesting comment stating, now hear this, this is good. We have a curious policy of taking the most vulnerable potential homeowners with the most volatile income streams and we urge them to buy houses in the most price volatile neighborhoods and then we wonder why they don't gain wealth. That's actually a really interesting perspective. Think about that for a second. Now, my commentary could go on for days about this topic. However, we'd love to hear what you guys think about this. Will looser guidelines help borrowers? Probably. Will lenders listen to Mel Watt and actually loosen their guidelines? I don't know. They may still be too gun shy. Is it even a good idea? Should we stay with stricter guidelines and continue to grow slow and steadily? 
all good questions and we want to know what you guys think. So let us know down below and we'll see you next week. Bueller. 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 Bueller.